This is an XAR video demonstrating how to repair the piston seal on the P38 compressor. It's a common issue with these compressors that the piston seal wears down, reducing the output of the compressor, causing many vehicle problems. Our replacement kit um, includes everything you need to replace that and to repair the compressor. You can see here what is included in our kit to uh, carry out this repair. You can see a replacement piston seal there. Um, it's an improved design, improved materials to last longer than the original. Um, filters for replacing the filters um, to the compressor unit. Um, two O-rings which need replacing in the head of the compressor. Um, and also a piston liner. Um, we do different listings, some with these, some without. It depends if yours is worn, if you need that. We normally recommend changing both at the same time. We'll now show you how to fit these new parts and how to recondition the compressor. Remove the four head bolts using an 8mm socket and there's also a Torx head on these bolts but we recommend using a socket instead as the, the bolt material is quite soft. Lift off the two parts of the head. Inside this part of the head there's an o-ring there. It may be left on the piston line if it is just take that out also. If you're going to reuse the piston liner, just clean that up. You'll see quite a bit of a remnant of the old seal in there. Just get that a good clean up. Um, the same with the head. Um, any residue of O-rings or uh, piston seal, just clear that all up. You will then be able to see inside the piston seal, um, the part which causes the problems. Um, this is one of our demo units, so it's actually got an aftermarket seal fitted. Um, but this is the, the part we need to change out. Unscrew the filter unit and remove. Again, using an 8mm socket, remove the bolts holding on the faceplate. Lift off the faceplate, um, take the gasket. It may become stuck to this face, um, just prise it off if it does and clean up both of the matching faces. Um, just remember the, the gasket orientation for reinstall. Remove this grommet screw on the side of the compressor. Rotate the piston from inside the faceplate until you can see another bolt head through this hole. This is what's holding the piston onto the, the spine from the motor. Um, once that's located, we can undo that bolt. We don't need to remove this bolt all the way, just enough so that it releases the piston off of the spline. You can tell when that's free, so you'll be able to move the piston forwards. Move the piston forward and off of the spline. Um, if it's tough on the spline, um, you can put a screwdriver in there just to lever the piston off the spline. Um, you don't want to put too much strain on the piston uh, as we don't want to cause the piston any damage. You can then rotate the counterweight and exit the, the piston through the faceplate hole. We can now remove the remnants of the old seal. Um, ordinarily the seal will be a lot more worn than this. Um, you might even find parts of it missing. Um, so first off, we'll just cut off the old seal, taking care not to damage the piston. See here, we've managed to cut away most of the old seal. Um, if we just cut into the seal here, just between the clamp ring and the piston, and the gap which the seal sits in, we should be able to make small hole in there. If we do that at the front and also at the rear, just allow us to get a screwdriver in there to start levering the clamp ring off. We can now lever this off. Um, we start with a small screwdriver, just increment in size, just lifting away at the seal, sort of rather at the clamp ring. Slowly in increments, lift off the ring from the front and the rear, and that ring will slowly raise up and we'll be able to remove it. So we can then take off the remnants of the seal, and clean around the piston groove, just getting any remnants of the old seal or any dust that it may have produced. We can then fit the new seal, put the clamp ring back on, just put a bit of Loctite on the, the bottom of the ring. Push that as far down as you can. Take a socket, a similar circumference in size to the clamp ring. You just put that on top of the clamp ring. We can then just tap the clamp, clamp ring down um, 
until it's fully engaged and retains the seal. We can then shape the seal by reinserting it into the liner, or inserting it into our new liner. Let's do it at a 45 degree angle, and slowly rotate it in there, just uh, reshaping that seal. Keep rotating the seal. Um, you can use a bit of Vaseline um, just to lubricate the bore whilst we're doing this, just to ease the seal in. Um, as you can see there, it's not quite engaged, so we just keep twisting away, um, easing the seal into place. Um, it is a tight fit, um, it's designed to be a tight fit. Once we've shaped the seal, and we can then remove the piston liner again, reinsert the piston into the compressor onto the spline from the motor. Just tighten that in place, again rotating the piston round till the bolt lines up. We can then refit the outer grommet screw. We can then refit the piston liner. We'll just check that the piston's moving up and down nicely inside the liner. Just rotate the piston inside the cover plate. See that's going up and down nicely in there. We can now replace the O-rings in the cylinder head before replacing that. Just undo this bolt holding on these shims. we we'll find the O-ring under there. Just remember the orientation of these shims. You can see they sit parallel to one another. Remove the shims. You can see there how they sit within the head. Prize out the old O-ring. Clean the groove which the O-ring sat in, um, remove any residue of the old O-ring, there may be some dust from that, just clean that all up. You can also clean up the shims and remove any residue of the O-rings which may be on the shims. Insert the new O-ring, it's a good idea to put a bit of silicon seal on this just to help bond. Locate that back into its recess. Refit the shims in the same position as before. Make sure when tightening these stay parallel to one another. Flip the head over and insert our new O-ring. We can then go about remounting the head. Remount the head to make sure the O-ring stays in position. Clean up, refit the head plate. Apply a little bit of Loctite to the retaining bolts. Once the head is back on, you can just test the piston again inside the bore. You see it's moving up and down nicely. Again, put a little bit of Loctite on the bolts. Reattach the face plate, uh, remember the gasket. Before refitting the filter unit, uh, just clean the filter unit and remove the old filters. Just lift off the lid. You see in there the old filters. Lift those out. So our new filters, as you can see, that's how they should look. And uh, reattach the cover. You can now refit the filter unit, screw that back into place. Now the repair is complete, we can just test the compressor unit before reinstalling onto the vehicle. Um, the wires to the compressor, you can see there's a green one and there's a black one next to that. Um, 
green is positive feed and the black is negative. So if we just connect that to a 12 volt battery, we'll be able to run a compressor and test the output. Testing the output, be able to put your thumb over the outlet pipe like so, um, and you shouldn't be able to stop the air uh, being pushed out. If you can stop the air and you can hear the kind of piston slowing down, um, then the install needs to be rechecked as the, the seal's not working correctly. Um, if it is outputting well and you can't stop the airflow, then the install has been successful and you can refit to your vehicle. Um, if you have any further questions or you need any guidance, you can telephone us on 01843 446643 or you can email us at sales at x8r.co.uk. Thank you.